here. Brian DeCosta here. I'm Brendan Lund. Karen Polini here. Right now, at this very moment, we all have the priceless opportunity to make a real, lasting change in the lives of children all around the world. The organization Pencils of Promise has built over 300 schools for more than 30,000 students worldwide. And we are combining our reach to make an impact. From September 25th to November 4th, Influencers with Impact is launching a campaign to build schools for underprivileged children around the world. In our opinion, this is the best use of influence possible. If all of us in the online fitness, business, wellness, great human being community combine our reach, we can come together and make a powerful, lasting impact. And to show you guys how committed we are to giving to those in need, Influencers with Impact is going to match the first $10,000 that are raised for this campaign. Once the campaign reaches $10,000, we'll contribute another $10,000 to bring the total to $20,000. 100% of all donations go towards building schools for children in countries like Laos, Guatemala and Ghana. Now this campaign might appear to be about just building a school. This campaign is about giving others a chance to succeed. This campaign is about granting someone a privilege they don't already have. This campaign is about changing someone's life. A person who has the potential to become the next world leader, alter the course of history, or contribute to the success of the human race as a whole. We cannot wait to see. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see what we can do together. Thank you guys. everyone I'm so excited to share this with you guys and I just want to give you a little bit of a backstory about what it's all about why we started it and what our goal is so I first got exposed to pencils of promise through my business mentor Lewis house I think it was about a year ago or so that I saw him do this fundraiser and then he actually went out into the field met all the kids in Guatemala Ghana and Laos those are the three countries that Pencils of Promise um, goes into. He went there, he built the school, he met the kids, he did this mission trip and I was like, wow, that is so amazing. My goal is to do something like that before the end of 2017. And I was talking with um, my closest friends, Brendan, Karen, and my boyfriend, Brian, obviously. We all kind of just talked together and at some point our minds were just kind of like, yeah, we, we want to build a school, we want to make an impact. We want to do something that helps with education. We are all kind of educators here on social media. I love making informational videos, helping you guys, teaching you guys what I learn. I love coaching and education is something near and dear to my heart because it, it helped me get to where I am today. And I had the privilege of having access to an education and there are thousands and thousands of kids, hundreds of thousands that don't even have the access to it. And it's absolutely amazing to be able to share things with you guys here who have access to smartphones, the internet, um, YouTube videos who can afford our programs and our coaching and all that stuff but what about those people that don't have access to have any of that at all so our goal with this is to come together use our influence and present it to a community of people who actually give a shit about making the world a better place that's you guys and we want to see what we can do together because doing something together is more powerful than any one of us can do alone at all that's why we all four of us wanted to band together and come together and do this as a group and it's not just us. We want you guys to feel like you can take ownership of this campaign as well, because this is the community that we're in. We've built this community. All four of us have our own people. A lot of them overlap. And you guys actually care about stuff in the world. You care about making yourselves better, better people. You care about making more of an impact on the world. That's something that you hear all the time from us. And if you keep watching our videos and consuming our content, that must be something that you agree with as well. So as of today, today's Saturday, I'm posting this video in like an hour. Today we have raised $5,130 so far. It might be a little more than that from last time I checked, but that brings us 10% towards our total goal of $50,000. Like we said in the little intro clip, we are matching the first 10K that will bring us to $20,000, and then we have four more weeks to get to $30,000. And $35,000 will actually build the school, but $50,000 will allow two of us to go into the field and actually physically do it and meet the kids, and we can video everything, and that would just be like the coolest thing in the whole entire world. And look, I get with this kind of thing, it's super easy to watch this video and say, that's awesome, I hope they reach their goal. But it's really difficult to actually take ownership of it and say, you know what? Anything that I do to help this will actually help make an impact and take ownership of some sort of campaign that you see. So anytime I see a campaign or a fundraiser, I'll just give and give what I can. Either it's a share or a retweet on Twitter or I'll donate my money. Anything that I can do at the time, I'll, 
I always have this rule for myself that I'll take ownership of it if I see it and utilize my influence to share it out or give my own money. And that's what I want you guys to do as well. So whether you have $5 to give, $1 to give, whether it's just sharing it out to your friends and family and say, look, this is something that's happening. If you can give, please do. And if it's not you that can give, you have somebody else in your network that would love to be able to do that. And that's you, you making an influence on the world, you making an impact on the world using your influence. And that's why we call this influencers with impact. So subscribers, give what you can, share what you can, share out to your network. Influencers, if you are watching this video, this is so yours too, it's not just us four. Please do what you can, share, donate, utilize your influence and make an impact by just making this your own and taking ownership. Brands, we would love to get you guys and companies involved if you can, if you want to, for either a donation or a giveaway at our live event because we are gonna be doing a live event at the end of this. Our goal for the live event is to top off the last like 10K um, with a big bang, people in person. So if you're in LA, we're going to be giving you guys more information on that very soon once we get all the details worked out. We're super excited about the fundraising event and that's gonna be it. We'll get to the video right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys go in the link to donate whatever you possibly can and do it today. When you're watching this, do it right now. Thank you guys so much and let's get to the video. I like the tattoo a lot, it's so cool. Pick a cool spot. I'm pretty crazy. Random in a lot of ways. I say whatever I think and um, I do pretty crazy stuff sometimes. What I'm thinking about thing it. You've done? I can't tell that on the channel. <laughs> Wait, tell us about your tattoo. I'm out right here. What does it mean? What it means, okay. For a long time, I thought I had to be somewhere in order to be happy. So basically, I had a certain goal in mind, you know, a certain life I wanted to live. And once I did, I realized that, you know, there will new goals will stack up. So when you accomplish something, you're not gonna sit on the couch the next day. Like, you'll be happy for a second, maybe for one day, but then you will want more, and more and more. And the thing is, if you set these goals and you let your happiness decide upon these goals, you will never be happy, so. It basically means live by the day, appreciate where you are, be happy, and always strive for more. I love it. Did you try any of the new food? You had the cheeseburger, right? It's so good. Mmm, new bite the Cookies are freaking. They're not new, but they're. Epic. Oh, they're. Cheeseburger oh, you... was good. Yeah, you haven't had them yet, because I haven't ordered them. The higher yeah. calorie ones. Yeah, oh, they're, they're so worth it. Delish. What's up guys, so now we're going to get gifts for my speakers for my live event. It's in less than two weeks now and I want to get a little goodie bag for the speakers. I don't want any of my students to watch so I'm not going to tell you guys who they are yet because it's a surprise but basically I just want to do like a, a little, I don't know, a little thing that they can like take away. Kind of like when you go to a birthday party and you get like a little thank you bag. Something nice so. Always, oh that's cool. Worst possible things you can utter about. 
what not to say to nobody, anybody ever. <laughs> Medium one. Yeah. 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 Yeah.